Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing and first impressions. As you can see by the writing on this bag, today we're unboxing a new model from Tool Watch Company. This is the third time I'm featuring a watch from that company on my channel. The first two were the Ama Diver that I loved. I'll leave the link here in the corner of the screen. And the second one was the Arctic Field Watch, which I liked even more because it was way simpler and kind of my taste in watches. This one is simply called Diver. It's a lot like the Ama Diver, but materials are different and everything. So let's open it and see how it looks. They also sent some brochures of the watch. We're gonna put that away. Pull out this packing, which is quite interesting. I don't know what material that is. Apparently it's recyclable. So we open it like this and like this, and then we open the roll. Oh, upside down, apparently. There we go. So this is the warranty. It's metal like Zelos does theirs. This is the protective cover. And here is the watch. We have titanium bracelet. And it also comes on a rubber strap, tropic rubber strap, which is put here. Now this rubber strap is standard with the watch. The H-Link titanium bracelet is an add-on and this is the watch itself. So as you can see, it's pretty cool looking. It looks like the Ama Diver, but this one is made out of titanium. And you have two options, actually three. You have titanium case with titanium bezel. You have titanium case with bronze bezel. And you have titanium case with a DLC coated bezel. This one is titanium titanium and honestly, the best looking of the bunch. So you have titanium case, titanium bracelet, you have an NML black dial, as you can see it's a very very black, very dark, polished hands that are beveled in the middle, they're classic DNA and this is something I always lo love about certain micro brands that discover their own design and then stick to it. The Ama Diver, the Arctic Field and this one, you can tell it's the same company. They're not like wandering away trying to find their design. They nailed it the first time and they're sticking to it just making small variations, something I really like. The watch 41.5 by 48 lug to lug and as you can see it's a true lug to lug because it comes with female end links 12.8 millimeters thick which is pretty thin for today's divers automatic and that's thanks to the movement used which is a Miyota 9039 so a more premium movement compared to regular micro brand offerings like the Seiko NH35 or the Miyota 8000 series. This is better. This is 28,800 BPH, hacking, hand winding, automatic as you would expect. Comes with a 120 click bezel, screwing crown, 300 meters of water resistance. So pretty much everything you want from a modern diver with some more exotic materials having titanium. And this is not just any titanium, this is hardened titanium. If you ever owned a titanium watch, especially Seiko, they are scratch magnets. They're really soft, they scratch much easier than steel. But this one being hardened, it's about, I believe they say 1200 Vickers, which is like twice, almost twice the, twice the, the hardness of steel. So this one should handle scratches much better. If you're buying a titanium watch, never buy regular titanium, always go for something hardened or coated. Citizen does really good titanium watches and obviously this should handle scratches well as, as well. And we'll test that for the full review. This is just the unboxing and first impressions. I will be wearing this watch for a couple of weeks to see how it wears, how it feels on wrist. It's very, very light. Even though on the bracelet, it's quite light. So this is probably gonna disappear when you wear it. Okay, let's try the bezel that has 120 clicks and one of the most aggressive grips I have seen so far. In fact, even the crown has very aggressive and easy to grip teeth and so does the bezel. So let's try to turn it. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up the sound being titanium. It's probably gonna sound softer than steel.
and that's it. I hope you heard that. It does sound different because titanium, like I said, always sounds different than steel and it actually feels different than steel. It feels less strong, less sturdy, but that's the case with titanium watches. Just as many people like don't like titanium watches because of their lightness, they kind of feel cheap or lower quality compared to their steel counterparts. But if you if you can get pass away that it's not a sign of bad quality it's just how titanium feels it's actually quite comfortable and like i said it disappears on your wrist so let's put it on my six and a half inch wrist it hasn't been sized to see how it looks and as you can see just like the way i like my divers to look this is as big as i would go when it comes to divers with a classically shaped case seiko tuna not included very nice it does work quite thin and i believe this h link bracelet is going to be very comfortable another thing with titanium it's always kind of warm to the touch because it doesn't pull out uh, heat like steel does so it's very comfortable to wear now this watch will retail for 400 dollars in configuration with a rubber strap and this titanium titanium combination if you go for the bronze it goes up to i believe 500 dollars which for a titanium watch with a Miyota 9039 a sapphire crystal that has only the coating on the underside, so just the way I like it, it's actually a pretty decent price. However, these are currently available on Indiegogo as a crowdfunding campaign, and there you still have slots by the time this video is published to get into the super early bird where this drops to $295 which to me seems like a no-brainer. So we're gonna be doing, like I said, a full review where I do the macro shots when I wear the watch. Like this, I really do like it. I like that they follow their DNA, they're not straying away from it. And I do like the proportions of the watch and the feel of it because of the titanium case and bracelet. Now let's do the loom shot and that's probably gonna be it for today. But like I said, as usual, stay tuned for the full review with macro shots to see just how well this is made. I do, I can't wait to see the, the hands under macro and this beautiful black dial. I'll have to compare this to my Submariner, but this seems darker or blacker. Maybe it's just because of the lack of any text, just this small here tool watch co-diver. And I actually like it like this. I thought it's gonna be like too sterile but I'm actually liking it. That's why it looks so dark. So they left everything empty so you can really enjoy that blackness. It's kind of pulling me in like a black hole. Very nice. Okay, let's charge the watch for a couple of seconds and then we're gonna do a loom shot. Okay, here's the watch. Let's get the camera to focus and turn off the lights. And there we go. It uses Swiss Super Luminova bgw9 so it glows blue and it's not as good as let's say c3 green loom but overall it's pretty decent now i have here what is this a beaufort so let's compare it to the regular green loom so as you can see it is slightly weaker but not that much weaker should i say it's even i mean look at the hands here and the hands here yeah Considering that our eyes pick up green better than blue, the loom is actually decent. Very cool. Anyways, that's it when it comes to this unboxing and first impressions. Like I said, stay tuned for the full review and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.